This video demonstrates the process to download components using Ultra Librarian Gold into Zookin CR5000 or Zookin CR8000 format. The process involves downloading and installing Ultra Librarian software, selecting the components to be downloaded, exporting the ASCII data and the 3D step model for the components, converting the ASCII data to Zookin CR5000 or Zookin CR8000 format, merging the new component data into the existing library, and then QCing and releasing. There's more than one method to search for and load components. This example assumes that the Accelerated Design's online components will be used. We'll start by selecting New Library, and then we'll select Find Existing Components. As mentioned, we'll use the Accelerated Design's online components. We'll select the components to be downloaded, and then we'll select the Add Selected to Library option. Once the download is completed, we'll select Exit Component Database. Next, we'll select File Export Options. And we'll select 3D Step Model and Zookin CR5000 slash CR8000. At this point, we're ready to export the data, so we'll select Export Entire Library. The export log will detail the export path along with instructions on how to convert the ASCII export data to Zookin CR5000 or Zookin CR8000 format. At this point, we can close Ultra Librarian and move on to the portion of the process that involves converting the ASCII data into Zookin CR5000 or CR8000 format. The first thing you can do is move or copy the step model or the .stp file to the proper folder within the Zookin library. Next, we'll navigate to the ASCII export path and run the import ASCII.bat. The script will prompt us to select either CR5000 Component Manager or CR8000 Component Editor, and to also select either CR5000 System Designer or CR8000 Design Gateway. Once both are selected, the conversion process begins with any issues captured in the error-log.txt file. We can now move the symbol to the proper symbol folder within the Zookin library, and we can also open the symbol and add any company-specific information. Next, we need to open either Component Manager or Component Editor and update the footprint layer mapping to company-specific layer mapping. To do so, we'll drag and drop the FTP or footprint file created by the import ASCII.bat into the Component Manager or Component Editor canvas. We can then change the object view to Footprint and use Tools Define Footprint Layer to help us change the layer names to company-specific layer names and then save. Once the layer mapping is completed, it's important to close Component Manager or Component Editor in order to reset the library. We'll then reopen Components Manager or Component Editor and begin the process of merging the part package and footprint download it using Ultra Librarian into the Zookin library. To do so, we'll use the Compare Objects functionality. We'll start with the footprint and then move on to the package and part. We'll set the reference library to the .ftp that we previously created and set the destination library to the Zookin library. We'll then change the output object to object having different contents and select Execute. We'll then use Utilities Transfer Object to Copy CDB Library to move the new footprint into the existing footprint library. We'll follow the same set of steps for the package. So the first thing we do is change environment to compare package library. As before, we'll set the reference library, the destination library, and then run execute. As before, the new package is identified, and we'll use utility transfer objects to copy CDB library to move the new package into the library. Finally, we're ready to bring in the part, so we'll 
use environment compare part library and as before set the reference library the destination library and then select execute as before we'll use the utility to transfer the object to the copy ctb library and a new part is added to the library At this point, the new component is ready to be checked and released.